We are doing an ongoing series on San Diegans who volunteer in unusual ways. For this story, video journalist Charlotte Radulovich visited two women in Lemon Grove. Julia Diamiches and Chelsea Gastelum want to transform the city into a bee pollinator city. The way it started after we had um, invited folks over, I had filmed a video for social media and it went viral. I love bees. Someone reached out to us asking us to do their house and that is the very first yard that we did of April last year. We are doing our May yard here out on Citrus Street. Uh, if you don't know what the bar this bee garden co-op is, it is a Lemon Grove group of neighbors who go to each other's houses and we basically storm each other's front yards and redo them with pollinator plants. We have a funny uh, origin story. Um, I met Chelsea online because she had posted on Facebook that she was looking for candidates to grow native pollinator plants in their yards. And she had three plants to give. And I was like, just had moved here and wanted to engage with my community. And so I volunteered to join her group. It wasn't actually a group. It was like an experiment almost. Like we were supposed to put native pollinator plants in our backyards or in our front yards. I reached out to her because I got an idea. And I basically was like, hey, I run a lot of social media for Lemon Grow. What if we take your idea and, and grow it bigger? And instead of you just going around and, and coaching everyone individually about these native plants, which would be a lot of work and time, um, instead we work together to put pollinator gardens in each other's yards. I think that's the reason why our Busy Bees has been so successful is that in order to get your own yard done, you have to volunteer once. That's kind of the shtick of the, of the thing. And people then get to feel what it is like to give back yeah. with their neighbors and how fulfilling that is. We're a small town, but we have the ability to be such a big conservation impact because we are putting in these patches all around town, which means pollinator pathway, you're gonna cruise from one to the next and keep going. We have the only garden in California right now that's a certified native habitat by Wild Ones. Wild Ones is also uh, the ones who are providing the grant to put in the native pollinator gr garden in San Alto School. <laughs> There's a very strong movement within the community right. of people who love where we live and recognize the potential of this place. But to take the Lemon Grove Bistro that allowed us to put in the gardens and when you go in their beer garden area, that was all a busy bee project. Even though not all of those are natives, we put in what they would like in there. They have these really big goals of turning Lemon Grove into a bee pollinators, a bee city is what they call it. Can you tell me in your own words what you think about busy bees itself? What Chelsea has, has created is so important on many levels, not just particularly for the butterflies and bees and all, and all the critters, but it's bringing a community together where neighbor gets to meet neighbor. Bringing us together, it's been super powerful. It's Lemon Grove's time to shine, and in a few more years, I think we will be hearing that type of thing about Lemon Grove. Starting with you guys. <laughs> That story was produced by video journalist Charlotte Radulovich.